Welcome back everyone, I'm Dr. Rupa. If you're new to the channel, I'm an ophthalmologist. I've been in practice for almost 15 years. And today we are reacting to Hooked on the Look, the eyeball tattoo. There is an episode that a woman got eyeball tattoos and that's kind of become one of the things in the body modification community. And I had to watch this because I've seen a lot of instances, at least within the medical community of just really bad eyeball tattoos that have gone horribly wrong and the patients have become blinded and have had to have the eye removed. So I really wanted to check this out and see this woman's experience because the caption grabbed me. So let's take a look. There's a warning Once already. Once the eyeball was penetrated with the ink, it felt like he grabbed 10 shards of glass and rubbed it in my eye. If your eyeball procedure is done correctly, um, you're not supposed to go blind at all. Uh okay, it's already off to a horrible start. She felt like she had glass being ground into her eye. That sounds awful. And that picture of her looks like she's extremely unhappy. Aye, my gosh. I don't, uh, wow, okay. Yeah, let's just watch, let's keep going. Blind for three weeks. That was pretty brutal. She was blind for three weeks. So there are a couple different reasons that she could have been blind for three weeks after having an eyeball tattoo. I mean, some that are not so serious and some that are super serious. Doesn't look like she's blind right now, so I'm assuming that whatever it was, that it improved. So the short-term complications of having an eyeball tattoo, and this is when they actually inject dye underneath the conjunctiva, underneath the white part of the eye, and then they use this spatula thing and they smush the dye all around. So it spreads all around the white part, the conjunctiva of your eye. Now, the needles and the technique they're using are actually similar needles to what I use when I do eye surgery on the eyes. And anytime you do eye surgery, you can develop an infection, you can develop inflammation. Even just short term, you can have foreign body sensation or light sensitivity or even a change in vision from this. So for three weeks, she was blind and I'm assuming it must have been some kind of inflammation. Maybe she needed uh, to be on topical like steroid drops as well as an oral steroid or perhaps she had an infection which can happen as well. This is not the same as getting a tattoo on the rest of your body. It's a really different situation. Let's keep watching. Hi darling. I've Morning. come over. Oh, thanks darling. I've come over to have a look at some photos. Um, the one tattoo. Yeah. Yeah, no. 18 years old. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> no more. Yeah. And then what happened? If I was to put a number on how many tattoos that I have, I'd probably have to say about 200 tattoos. I think you've become more confident. I've noticed that over the years. Yeah, it was I finally found who I was. Well, that I completely agree with. I am all about someone remaining true and authentic to themselves. I think she was beautiful to start with. But if she didn't feel beautiful until she had done all the tattoos and the lip fillers and the breast augmentation and all of that, then, and she's doing it for herself, which it sounds like she is, I am all for that. Like that, that's me like 100%. It's what I believe in. But the eyeball tattooing, I just think is a different story because of the risks associated with it. You know, there have been things like facial tattoos and, um, you know, my eyeball tattoos and things that, um, were a bit more controversial. Look, white eyes. That's, that's oh, no, weird. It's beautiful. No, it's weird. What do I think about my daughter's blue tattooed eyes? Where do I start? Uh, I cry. She looks like she's about to cry. Oh, I understand. I'm a mom. I have three kids. It's hard to see them make life choices that are different than the ones you would make. Oh. I, I said a few choice words, as anyone would do. What the hell are you thinking of? Why would you do that to yourself? I can't even begin to describe to you. So I had to pause this because this is the surgery video. So at least they're wearing gloves. That's a good thing. But I noticed that the surgeon, well, I guess he's not a surgeon, the tattoo artist, is has an assistant and the assistant is just holding the eyelids open 
And when I am doing surgery, I'm actually using a metal instrument called a speculum and it opens the eyes so that the lashes are not flapping around and we use numbing medicine as well so you don't feel anything. And the reason for that is because your eyelashes actually carry a lot of bacteria. So they can cause a really serious infection if they get into the surgical field. I'm assuming they didn't do a betadine prep, which is the way that we would prepare any kind of surgical area because this is surgery and you have to think about it like that. It's not just a tattoo, it's like actual surgery that can cause you to go blind. So there's no lid speculum and it looks like there's just a cotton pad there to be able to wipe away all of the tears or the blood that's going on. So I'm a little concerned. This doesn't look like the most sterile thing in the world. We will see. What the feeling was like. The best thing I can give you is um, once the eyeball was penetrated with the ink, it felt like he grabbed 10 shards of glass and rubbed it in my eye. Um, that happened four times per eye. Okay, so clearly, she has no numbing medicine. Usually if we're doing any kind of eye surgery and the patient is awake, like a cataract surgery or what's called a pterygium surgery, at the very least for cataract surgery, which is painless, we do numbing drops as well as numbing medicine and even injecting numbing medicine into the eye. All of the surgeries I do, I do eye muscle surgery, which is actually located quite close to what they're doing here with the tattooing and the dye. All of my surgeries are done under general anesthesia, so the patient is completely sleeping so they don't feel any pain. She's moving her eyes around, she's feeling these injections four times in each eye, so it doesn't seem like she has any kind of medicine on board, which I think goes with the fact that this is not a doctor, obviously, performing this, uh, and any of the numbing agents that you would need to get are gonna be different, again, than the skin, because the numbing creams that go on the skin cannot go in the eye, they will blind you. There's specially formulated lidocaine ophthalmic jellies, which are available for the eye, as well as numbing drops like tetracaine or propericaine. She doesn't seem like she has any of those. I feel really bad for her, that looks awful. That was pretty brutal. Unfortunately, my artist went too deep into my eyeball. If your eyeball procedure is done correctly, um, you're not supposed to go blind at all. But it's a risk. That's the thing. Yes, you're not supposed to go blind, but you can go blind. And that's the other risk, is that the needle can penetrate inside the eyeball. She called him an artist. Not a surgeon, not a physician, an artist. There's a reason that I went to four years of medical school and did five years of surgery training to be able to operate on the eye. And I'm basically doing, sometimes, I'm not doing tattooing, but you know, I'm using scissors and needles and things in that same vicinity because you can penetrate the eye. And there have been reported cases of this where people had cosmetic eyeball tattooing and it penetrated inside the eye and it ended up in the front part of their eye and it clogged the meshwork of the eye and it gave them glaucoma. It went inside the eye to the retina and it made them blind and it was so painful that the eyeball actually had to be removed. And when the surgeon, there's a video of it and I'll link to it below if you don't mind seeing kind of gross videos, it was through our ophthalmology academy. And as he was trying to save the eye, so he was doing some surgeries to kind of release the dye and he made one incision and just like all this dye came out from all different points where it shouldn't have been. So that's the danger. I mean, you go a couple millimeters in either direction and you really can be hitting really serious, important, vital anatomy that's important for you guys to see. So this is why it's not the same thing as tattooing your skin. I was blind for three weeks. Yes. Why would you do that to yourself, knowing that there is a, uh, I suppose, a danger to it? Not just I suppose. I mean, there is a danger. And I think that's the thing. Like, people don't realize that you really can go blind for this. I, I don't understand how it's really even permissible, to be honest. As we know, as a parent, some kids will just do what they want to do, regardless of what we say. But I brought her into the world with best skills that I could give, the best that I could give her. It's just for me to be there and go along the journey with her and prop her up and love her. So how do you think you're gonna feel? That almost made me cry as a mom. I mean, she just sounds like a wonderful mom and that is all you can do is just 
support your children and be there for them. And I know this is a tangent and has nothing to do with ophthalmology or eyes, but that's a really wonderful relationship that she has with her daughter just to be there and be supportive and obviously nursed her back to health when she was blind for three weeks. You can get really serious immune reactions from this as well as allergic reactions and just there's a list of about 10 things, 15 things that are very serious and vision threatening that you can get from eyeball tattooing. So it's not something that is simple. Feel when you get older. Oh, I'm gonna when you have children, you. how are you going to be when you sit here? You know what? And you're the mum. I'm gonna be an open coloring book. Mm. All my pieces of gray wash, so mm. this is death for hours in color me in. <laughs> It's a nice way to look at it. Yeah. At 15 years old, I got diagnosed with severe clinical depression. She never saw herself as being beautiful. She didn't see herself through my eyes. A lot of people go through things in life, but for me, it's about coming out the other side and being able to be your true self. At 16 years old, I got my first tattoo. The feeling that I felt with that tattoo was almost like a negative energy release. Um, I've supported him because I could actually see the transition, the growth, and how it's made her come to who she is today. That's, that's really sweet. And I think that just speaks to why she's doing all of this and with the tattooing. And I'm so glad that it has helped her realize her inner beauty and to feel comfortable in her skin and to be authentic and true to herself and that her mother is supporting her, which I think a lot of parents might not do so. I just, think that the eyeball tattooing is taking it to a level which is kind of dangerous because of the potential for blindness. But in all other respects, I think it's wonderful. I support her every other, and I support the eyeball tattooing. I just, I don't think that a lot of people realize like how severe that risk is and they think, oh, there's a chance, but there's just more than a chance, especially when it's being performed by people that are not really skilled as surgeons. They're skilled as tattoo artists, but not as a, an eye surgeon. I can't expect you to live your life through me mm. or how I want to live my life because it'll never make you who you are. Thanks. I appreciate it. You're emotional. Yeah. I'm emotional. Mm. I believe that though, really. Yeah, I know. Mm. Yeah. Thanks. It's all right. Appreciate it. I know. That's so sweet. Love you. I'm going to say right now that. I chose to look this way and everyone has their own opinions. You know, everyone knows what beauty is in their own eyes. You know, they, you see cultures stretching their ears and stretching their necks, their lips. It's all, all different ideas of what beauty is. And that's okay, that's fine, because we're only human. But I would like to see in the future a bit more open-mindedness, like when it comes to body modification and tattooing. It's tattooing is becoming more accepted in the community and within the workplace, but body modification has a long way to go. So that's her journey and I support that. And I would love to see a community which is more open-minded for everything as someone that was bullied a lot for the way that I looked growing up in the Southern United States and North Carolina. I just, I always think that openness and acceptance is the best. I just want to make sure that the information is out there about all the potentials for risk and for the complications that can happen with the inflammation and the infection and the blindness. I mean, these are not very simple procedures to do. It might seem simple. You just inject with a little needle, but those are the needles that I use. So you just have to think about the sterile technique and it's not being done in the operating room or even with the sterile drapes or a betadine scrub or with a lid speculum or by a surgeon. And um, you have to carefully evaluate. And if you decide to go for these modifications, like eyeball tattooing, knowing the risks and truly understanding it, then I am all for people making their own choices regarding that. But yeah. So that was very interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun for me. And uh, you can comment below if you think that eyeball tattooing should be able to be done by tattoo artists or if it should need some additional regulation. I'm not even sure who does it here in this country. So if you know, let me know. And please let me know if you would like any other content or any other videos. I'm always reading through all the, all the comments and 
Just like this video, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll keep churning them out. Thank you so much. I am Dr. Rupa, and I will see you next time. Mahalo.